I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving problems based on angle between clock hands. We are going to derive a general formula and solve a very interesting question in this video. So question number one is derive a formula for the angle between clock hands and question number two is find the time between 3 and 4 p.m when the angle between hour and minute hand is 50 degrees. Now, I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, this is question number two, which is, find the time between 3 and 4 p.m. when the angle between hour and minute's hand is 50 degrees. To solve this question, we should actually have a relation between the angle and the position of hours and ha minutes hand, correct? And so, it becomes very important for us to know this formula. Otherwise, solving this kind of question is kind of difficult, right? So, let's look into our clock for a moment. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, as you know, uh, in a clock, there will be an hour hand and there will be a minute hand, correct? Now, let's consider both the hands one by one and see how much angle do they cover in, in a minute, right? That's the point. So, so, we are basically interested in finding angle per minute. That is the concept. First, let's begin with the hour hand, right? So let's see, do our calculations for the hour hand. So as far as the hour hand is concerned, there are 12 hours and it goes through 360 degrees. In one hour, it will go to 360 divided by 12. That makes it 30 degrees. It makes sense. So, so that much is 30 degrees, correct? And in one minute, it will go to 30 degrees divided by 60, right? So half a degree. So as far as the hour hand is concerned, it moves half degree every minute. Now let's do the same calculation for the minute hand. Right? So when we look into the minutes, in all there are 60 minutes and 360 degrees. One minute will be 360 de degrees divided by 60. So one minute gives us 6 degrees, right? So definitely, since we have a difference here in the movement, our hand gives in one minute half degree and as far as the minute's hand is concerned gives you six degrees. Okay. Now let's also look into the time. Right? So normally we say time in hours, let's say some hours and some minutes. Now when I say hours, every hour the hour hand will give you 30 times hour. Does it make sense? 30 times hour. So if it is like, uh, let's say, the if I go for 3 hours, in 3 hours, the hour hand moves 3 times 30, which is 90 degrees. Does it make sense? So now, as far as the movement is concerned, if I have time, which is in hours and minutes, then in that case, let's say we have three hours. In that case, the minute hand will go three circles. Do you see? So it'd be like three times 360. But basically it comes to zero. So for a whole number of hour, Minute is zero because it again starts from zero. Do you see that? All right. So in general, 
if we have time in hours and minutes, our hand moves how much? Our hand moves number of hours times 30. 30 times number of hours age. Plus, for every minute, it moves half a degree. So it is half of M. So that is the movement of the hour hand. Correct? For minute hands, this is 6 degrees per minute. So we can write 6 M in degrees. Perfect. Now we know this. What is the difference? Difference gives us the angle between them. Let's say angle theta is what? That difference will be 30H plus half of M minus 6 of M, right? Perfect. And that gives you 30H plus you can write like this to 1 minus 12 M, which is 11, right? So that gives you the formula that theta, the angle between them is 30 times hours. 1 minus 12 is minus 11 by 12 minutes. So that is the angle theta. So a general formula here is, Theta is that much. Now, theta should always be positive and therefore we always take an absolute value. So theta is always taken as positive because the minutes we did hours minus minutes position, but the minutes position could be on either side of the hours hand, right? So it has to be positive, right? Now that part will be very clear when we do the second question, right? So I hope you got an idea of how to derive the general formula. So the angle moved by the hour's hand is 30 times the hours plus half for every minute. Angle moved by the minute's hand is, as far as the hours are concerned, it makes zero since it goes full circles. And for every minute, it goes six degrees per minute. So their difference gives us the angle between the two, right? So angle between the two is given by this formula, clear? Now from here, let's go to question number two. The question number two is find the time between 3 and 4 p.m. when the angle between the hour and the minute hand is 50 degrees. So we just derived a formula saying theta, the angle between them is absolute value of 30 per hour, right, minus 11 by 2 per minute. So that is it. Now we are looking for time between 3 and 4. That is to say, let's uh, sketch the scenario. Right? So let's say this is uh, 12, 6, 9, 3. So when we say between 3 to 4, that means the, let's say this is 4 and this is 5. That means the hour arm is somewhere between 3 and 4, right? So it could be, let's say here, correct? Okay? So in that case, the minute arm could be somewhere there, right? Giving you 50 degrees angle. Or we could have a scenario where the, the hour arm, let me make minute arm longer, okay? Okay, that's make no sense. Or we could have a scenario something like this. And 50 could be something like this. So there are two different scenarios. Perfect. Minutes could be before hour or after. And there could be 50 degrees angle between the two when the hour hand is between the position 3 and 4. Is that clear to you? Right? So basically, what we are saying here is that this portion here is equal to minus theta or plus theta. Perfect. 
Now in our case, we are looking into after 3, right? So, so the hours will be 3 and we are given theta as 50 degrees. So we'll substitute and find minutes. That's the whole idea, right? So we have two equations to work with. So the first one here is that we have 50, which is absolute value of 30 times 3 minus half 11 over 2 of m, right? So that is, we could write this as 50 equals to absolute value of 90 minus 11 over 2m. Perfect. This is in degrees, right? So we get 50 degrees. Okay, now here we can actually have two solutions since this value could be either plus or minus 50. Both will give you plus 50. Does this make sense? So we'll write this as 90 minus half m equals to plus 50 and 90 minus half m equals to minus 50 and solve. So in one case, we get 90 minus 50 equals to, sorry, 11 over 2, I'm sorry, 11 over 2, 11 over 2 M, and that is 40 times 2 over 11 is in minutes, correct? So that is, uh, let's multiply, 80 over 11 in minutes. So dividing, we get what, 7 times, and then 3 over 11, correct? So those many minutes. So we have here three hours and seven three over eleven minutes. Is that okay? So that is between three and four, correct? On the other hand, I will do ninety plus fifty equals to eleven over two m. That is when you add them, nine plus four is fourteen. So we get hundred and forty equals to 11 over 2 m or we get 140 times 2 over 11 is m so we get 280 divided by 11 is m so you could divide 280 by 11 okay so we get 2 times which is uh, 22 and then we have 60 so 5 times is 55 remainder is 5 so we get 25 minutes and 5 over 11 minutes, correct? So the other answer for us could be here, 3 hours and uh, 25, 5 over 11 minutes. Is that clear? So that is how we can get two different answers as kind of shown here in the diagram. It does make sense to you, right? So that is how, knowing the formula, we can easily solve this question. So it's kind of important to understand how to derive the formula and apply it. Now, once you know the formula, all these questions can easily be solved. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.